guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new i am going to balayage my hair today at home and i'm really nervous but i'm super excited so if you guys saw a couple years back i'll have the video linked but i did this a few years ago it's my most popular video it has great results but i want to amp it up a little bit i did a box dye last time well a boxed bleach and then just did purple shampoo to tone it which i knew back then and i know now purple shampoo doesn't tone but if you're washing your hair and using purple shampoo it does help a ton so this time i'm using more salon quality i went to sally's and got everything and i'm using a little bit better quality stuff um my hair is pretty much the exact same as it was years ago it's brown it's pretty like it's still darker than my natural color but it's you know it's a pretty natural attainable brown and i did get a balayage back in june and it's been forever so it's not really there i'm going to touch up those pieces but i also changed my part so i'm gonna have to do like these pieces just by like my eye so anyways I'm so excited I'm gonna talk about all the products first and then I will go in and show you guys what I'm doing so in the description I'll have a timestamp of when I start what I'm doing to my hair but you guys probably want to see all the products anyways so I obviously have mixing bowl a couple pairs of gloves and my hairbrush just for like after then this is the bleach or lightener that I went with. This is the Prism Lights by Salon Care. I wanted to get the Quick Blue by L'Oreal. They were out of it. This is like the next best thing and my hair pulls orange so I got the blue. They do have Prism Lights in violet if your hair pulls more yellow but I definitely pull orange and brass so I got blue. Two of those just in case. I'm actually probably gonna need both of those. I got a macadamia oil hair mask for afterwards. I have my go-to toner, which I tell all my family members about if they're like blonde. Um, I do this. I think the numbers changed since I bought this, but I get the pale blonde and then I get the violet additive and just add a little bit of that to tone it. And then I do use a purple shampoo once I have blonde hair. I have this just to brush through. I have this in case I need to weave, which I've had them for forever. And my level 30, or my 30 volume cream developer. I like the cream the best. Um, this is for my toner afterwards. I mix the bleach in the bowl and then just like use my hands. So I'll have all of this linked down below for you guys. Um, like the exact things that I used from Sally's. But I think this Wella might have changed numbers, but I love the pale blonde or like the beige blonde. That just gives such a pretty soft shade. And then the violet is just an additive. So you do need a toning color to use this with. So I'm taking off my jewelry. I didn't want to take off my Apple Watch, but I don't want to bleach it on accident. So I'm going to 1220 right now when I'm filming this. Yeah, we're just going to... We're just gonna go for it. I'm so excited. I'm so nervous. It's like five days until Christmas and I'm seeing literally every family member that I have. Riley's family, my family, my family from far away. Like, if this goes wrong, I'm screwed. But, we'll see. So, I'm gonna mix my bleach. Just start with one pack and then if I need more later, I will do that um, with my 30 developer. So this is one ounce. I'm gonna use this whole thing and then do two ounces of this because it's a one to two ratio. So one ounce of this, two developer. Also make sure you have a shirt that you don't care if it gets bleached and I have hardwood underneath me but if you have carpet, lay down old towels because this will fall. Okay, I'm going to use this little bottle to measure out um, the two ounces and then just pour it into here just so I know I don't like to eyeball it, I want it to be correct. I don't really need new friends, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone who can play though, want to hang with me. I'm not really looking for a friend, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone not afraid of. all of it out I 
And if you're trying this, you're doing it at your own risk. I'm not a hair professional. I don't really know what I'm doing. I pretty much know what I'm doing, but I did not go to school for this. So if you take my advice, you're doing it at your own risk. That's all I'm saying. Jeez, you don't want any like bleach chunks. So that's why it's taking so long. So I'm going to section my hair. I want to start with the bottom and then move on to the money pieces. So just going right at like my temple. That's normally how I section my hair. If you have thicker hair, you can do three sections, do whatever you want, but it is easier to work with if you have hair put away. So then what I'm going to do is I don't want to take it up too high, but I am going to tease each section. So if you have a smaller to teasing brush, that's great. I literally only have this one. So I'm just teasing some of my hair so that it doesn't get touched. Looks a little crazy like that. And then that hair obviously is not going to get touched. So it'll look, it'll still hold that brown but you do need to be able to brush it out. So use a brush that you're okay with getting bleach on. Taking just a little bit, it is a thicker consistency. That's how I like it. It makes it easier for me to move. Grabbing my piece of hair. I am going to work in very small sections so that it doesn't just get too, too blonde at the ends, but we're starting. Just a message if you're gonna use this stuff, it's literally so potent. It should have started away from my face because now I have to breathe this the whole time. But I do want these pieces to be the blondest because they're the money pieces, so. You can leave it open if you want. I actually think now that I've started closer to my face, I'm gonna use foils. So if you just have tin foil or like saran wrap, great, but I actually have like salon ones. This way is definitely more complex than my last video. I'll have that version linked below if you guys want. It is definitely a more easy version. Um, I do think that will result in a little bit warmer like honey blonde. And I'm curious to see how much this will lift and if it'll end up looking better or different. I guess I'll be able to tell you guys at the end which version I liked better. So obviously watch the whole video before you start doing your hair. to mention I do have this painting brush as well which I'm gonna definitely use on the top level to kind of feather it more Moving on to my top section, my camera stopped recording, so I think I showed this part, but I'm still doing the teasing method for the top. I'm just taking it in smaller pieces now, so I can be a little bit more precise with what I want to do. And I'm still doing good with one thing of bleach, but I'm also just like doing a soft balayage. I'm not trying to go crazy blonde. I still want to stay a brunette just with a balayage. Get next to me. I 
And with balayage, you want to work in a V. So, when you are painting or if you're doing it with your fingers, kind of go in like a V to give it that natural look when it falls. Watched the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out, so try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars. I wanna drive a faster car. Nothing can break me. No, no, nothing can break me. May my troubles to rest. Blow the smoke through my cigarette. City lights looking fine, and I know. My time now. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone. Okay, let me check the progress of this one. It's warm. It's lifting. I've checked a couple of them. I started I started putting it on at 12.30. It's 1.40 now. And so it's pretty much gotta be done. So my mom's gonna help me take all these out. My camera battery is flashing. So if it dies while we're taking it out, like it doesn't even really do anything. I've never used this type of bleach before. So I don't even know if it's gonna work or not, but we're gonna start taking them out. It like didn't do anything. Well, you're not done, maybe. Yeah? How do you know? Because it's, it's been an hour. I know, but it can continue to lift. The bleach said 45 minutes max. At least it's not orange. Yeah. And maybe it did more than your skin. <laughs> no one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. Just what I do when I'm out so Okay. This is what my hair looks like now. It looks like orangey on this side and it looks kind of green on this side and blonder and so I'm going to rinse it out now, brush it through, use my deep conditioner and then I'm going to style it and show you guys. Okay, I finished my hair, I styled it and curled it and I love it. I wish, let me go closer to the window so there's more natural light. It literally turned out so cute you guys, I'm obsessed. Okay. I'll show you this and then I'll go back so they can talk in some normal light. So I did my brush for the rest of my hair from pretty much the beginning in that V shape and that helped it a ton 
and I did the foils. I left it on for 45 minutes to about an hour. The bottom pieces were an hour. The top pieces were about 45 minutes. Um, and then I did my toner. I followed the instructions from the toner bottle. Um, I can't think of the parts right now, but you mix in developer with your toner um, so that you can spread it on your hair a little bit easier. I left that for about five to seven minutes. I should have left it longer because I personally don't want this warmth, but I do think it looks good. Um, especially in like natural light, I can tone it. And as I use purple shampoo, the brassiness will tone down. So I'm not worried about it at all. I love it. Everything that I used is linked down below with like the actual link. So you can buy it straight from there or screenshot it and take it into your Sally's if you want to try this. Again, I'm not a professional. This is just me getting antsy and trying to do my hair again. I have done my hair for years, so I do know what works for me and the techniques that I like to use, but I'm not a professional. So if you are wanting to try this, I'm sorry, this is just what works for me and my tips. It's not the actual like Bible. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you love my hair. And if you try it, Instagram me or comment here and I will try to answer. I want to see your guys' hair. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.